A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So I am crafting a ton of cobble. I need uh, one more work, no, three more workbenches, three more metal workbenches, and then way more cobble blocks. Probably do this at the back as well. Boom, I hear footsteps, I'm guessing. Restart, yep, 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 yep. Restarting worked. Please do this. Do this. I'm gonna stand back as far as possible so I can turn my lights on so I can actually see them. Demon down. See, because I'm using the quill now, it's also stopping their regen. And if it doesn't stop the regen, I can just make sure I shoot them again as they stand up. See, after a while, the aggressiveness modlet kicks in and then they start uh, falling towards you. Okay, but there should be very, very few zombies left, although they are a lot ran to that side over there, so I think they're going to uh, come from the right. Man, this thing packs a punch. I need to focus on making myself actually a ton of quill ammo. Or just doing quests that will reward quill ammo as a reward, because look at this. Damn. Okay, so they spawned at four, I think. Might have been three. I'm gonna fall down. Nice! That was um, easy. <laughs> See, just because we have this thing on there now, the uh, Rodden Spring and then the Crippler mod, ooh, we can do some damage. Uh, I should probably take my vehicle around. Do not want to be on foot, especially if there might be like uh, even more demons and stuff around. We're going to loot the ones on the side first, because these are the ones I killed first. I should probably also go dig out that clay now, so now that I know that the Wandering Horde just came through. But yeah, it seems that all I needed was a quick refresh. I completely shut down the game, opened it up again, and now... Oh, hello. There's still some more over here. Well, as long as you guys go that way, not my way, I'm fine. Although she's a vomitor, so if I'm not paying attention... Damage to my blocks, damn it. No wonder I have to do so many repairs all the time. They're just standing there smacking. But I think they're lost. They don't know where I am. Okay, all these corpses need to be removed as well. At this stage, you're not going to be able to move here without getting stuck on something. Awesome. But yeah, I think if I get two wandering wards, well, if I can kill them as fast as I just did, because they're just standing still in a pile, then I'll do that. But if they're moving and they come to this side and we have like two or three, then I'll do the cutaway thing. The kill montage. Until then, I think it's going to be a waste to do the kill montage. Oh, at least now that we have the radiation pulls, I should probably see if I can't make more. Um, we can actually go and do treasure maps that are even inside the wasteland. Obviously, it's way more dangerous there. You guys saw that last time. Dug out a hole and all of a sudden a mutated nurse and a Tom Clock feral fell in my head. Where's all the good loot, man? Come on. Damn. Okay, so it, it was good, but I mean, it wasn't like anything fantastic. See, if I wasn't scared of losing this gun, I want to see if I can't make quail, but I doubt it. If I can make my own quail, uh, quail sniper rifles and then a ton of mods and stuff, then I can go and run around with this. And if I die, I don't feel bad because I know, okay, cool, we have some more at the base. Okay, that's all that. That's all melee. Drinks, meds, food, farming. Okay, um, as for pants, I'm not wearing any, so let's just put that on. Tools go over here. Bench tools go over here. See, we are making more um, of the metal forges and uh, metal workstations and stuff, so we do technically need all of these tools and stuff we're finding from these. All parts. Armor. This is heavy armor, so I'm not going to be wearing that. Um, if it was the Kevlar armor, I'll definitely be wearing it, but this is just way too heavy. If you run around with that, it just slows you down way, way, way too much. Okay, building supplies go in over there, and then we can sell this, and eh, we don't really need time charges, do we? Thanks to our crowbar, we can just do a power attack, and then voila, open it up that way. What do you have on you? 
some cash. Just put that in there. Five slots locked. Okay. This one over here, I just want to make sure that it has enough space. One, two, three. Because I know that there was crafting cobble and that could take up quite a bit of space. Okay. Uh, do we have enough tools for these? Bench tools. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, we do even have enough for the others as well. Nice. So now we can use all four of these instead of having to craft stuff on me. Because if I run around crafting cobble and stuff on me and I die, we lose everything. But if I can just leave it at the base, craft everything over here, then I don't have to worry about losing resources. Resources, building supplies. Oh, I am also making a few of these advanced forges and an oven. So, but I now need electrical parts to be able to keep going. So I'm going to go and clear out a POI. Put a battery in there. I'm going to go and do quests but, uh, for traders, not for the scout. But what I'm going to do is I'll go into a POI, just quickly first uh, clear all the zombies, get the final stash. And then if there's no wandering horde, I'll go and actually strip the place of all the resources like wrenching and all the other stuff. Three points to spend. What else can I spend it in? Since I do technically need to get the bow higher, from the shadows is really good at the moment. Move faster, uh, less... You hide better, so you stealth better as well. We have stealth assassin up, so we should probably do the hiding thing first from the shadows. But I also want to get the bow up, since we're going to be using this also to clear places out. If I have this maxed, move 50% faster while crouching. Oh, it was the wrong one. No. I thought I clicked on this. Reload bows 15% faster, increases damage by 20%. I want to get you over here because rounds per minute increases. Uh, increases decapitation sounds by 15%, increases damage with bow weapons on heads by 30%. 50% chance of crippling the target, so especially if you go for headshots. 80% chance of stunning the target, so we need this. Although I think we can only go... Oh, we can go all the way over here, archery 60. So I just need three points now. Hello, hello, let's see how powerful this is. I mean, this is a steel bolt. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get your bolts back in Darkness Falls. Let's see, what do I need to make more bolts? Bolt. I want to make steel bolts. So for that, we're going to have to make steel arrowheads. Ooh, do we have arrows? Where's my ammo? We have steel arrows. We can take these apart for the steel uh, tips, and then we can use those. Don't have any other steel over here, unfortunately. Okay, and then on the forges, I think it's this one over here. Let's quickly really see what it takes to actually make the tips. Steel arrowheads. Oh, we can make it. We can make a ton. I'm just going to go for a thousand for now. I want to make sure that I actually can use the bow. The bow is way quieter than the, the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles are way more powerful. So if you're outside a POI and you sn uh, snipe, then... Oh, come on, drone. Stand still. If you're outside a POI and you want to snipe into it, then that's going to help you a lot. But if you're inside a POI, the bow makes way, way, way less sound. So it's way better having this on it. I just realized we're out of coil rounds. Wait, what? Since when? Did I use up all my coil just now? I could have sworn I grabbed the stack. Did I perhaps put it in where it's not supposed to be in or something? At least I have a coil shotgun if I need to get close to something. We do have a laser uh, baton, a plasma baton. So we could... Oh, there you go. Yeah, but that's that wasn't the stack. I think I had a little bit in there and I had a little bit on me and then all together that was a lot. We'll just do this. I don't want to keep too many on me because then you're going to, oh, if you die, you lose all of it. And then the steel over here, I want to make another one of those forges, but we can't. Because even though we have the steel, we don't have the electrical. Only 14 left. Okay, so let's go down to Trader Joel and see what jobs he has for us. It's been a while since so we've actually just done quests. This might be fun. And then also this over here quickly, just spam A and then the left click button. It just doubles the speed. There you go. And then make more steel bolts. Wait, no, that's stone bolts. Wait, what? Oh, it uses scrap polymers. Oh, it uses scrap polymers. That's expensive. I mean, it makes sense. It's a little bit more advanced. Okay, so I'm going to have to get some scrap polymers as well. Damn. I put these on the walls, put their tools inside, and then we have to go to the trader. Why do they always start the wrong rotation? 
Have you noticed that every time you pick them up, they're in the wrong rotation? I picked it up in that way as on purpose, so we can just go left like this, or right like this. Instead of going left and right, and left and right. Okay, so the rest of this we can put away for now. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use it. We are going to go do some scout quests anyway. Oh, not scout quests, trader quests. I've done way too many scout ones and no, uh, no trader ones, so I'm only at like tier 2, I think. And then that treasure map, where are you? Oh, okay, that's in the snow. That's not too bad. Hmm, we might actually go up there if the quest leads us up, but the, the, these quests are usually in town over here. Okay, what do you have for us? We need coins so we can get more recipes and stuff, and also from the scout bike uh, skills. But for now... We could do an infested, right? Tier 2 infested should have a demon inside, but now that we have our shotgun, that shouldn't be a problem. Lazy fitness. You can do this one first. It's closest. A job. No matter what, I'm for everything you've done. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Seems it's on this side of here. Lazy fitness. There you go. At least we have quite a few of these quill shotguns and stuff, but it would still suck to lose everything. I want to make sure that we stealth this place as well as we can. The Caduce... Do you have any melee? No. I need to remember to bring some melee with. Even if it's like a crappy knife or something. Look how fast I can crouch walk. Damn. Watch my crip walk. Watch my crip walk. <laughs> okay, does this have a silence on? Yes. This is a clear and fetch. It's locked. It goes down. Okay, we don't need any murky water and stuff for now. We can make our own jars. This is not Ravenhurst. Okay, now for the tough part. I did. Oh, I didn't bring any cobble with me. I want dots spawn in. There's a dot underneath me, isn't there? Yep. I should have made a scope for this gun. Oh, there's even more... No, it's not. I was about to say, it's even more down. It's on that side over there. Technically... I'm just going to do this. I'm going to hide in the wall. If a wandering ward shows up, another way to escape them is by hiding in the wall like this. Obviously, do so at your own peril. Why is there no zombie protecting this? That's just weird. There's no zombie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just destroyed that, but there was no reason to at all. That was dumb, John. It almost feels like I have Mega Crush active. Just because of how fast I can actually crouch. This is I've literally me just walking slowly. This. Came from upstairs just now. Look how powerful this thing is. The fact that I was able to kill her. Okay, he's breaking in. I was able to kill her after she woke up. That's insane. Come on. What's the range on this thing? Because I didn't bring any melee, now I have to waste my arrows, like three, on just one zombie. Man, this thing's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I keep trying to pick up my arrows every time I shoot. Because I know in Ravenous you can pick up arrows. But damn, this thing is really powerful. 
I'm moving fast. It feels like my whole character is on like the juice or something. I'm able to move fast and my character is able to move fast. My senses have picked up something. I just have to clear this place. Hoping no dots spawn in late. I hate it when that happens. I think the zombies are on the roof because I'm not seeing. Unless that's a zombie over there. Hello. I keep trying to pick it up. I need to stop doing that. I'm just so used to Ravenous being able to get the arrows back. I'll rather do that than uh, forget about doing it. Okay, you stay that side, please. Although... Do that. Now he's not a threat anymore. Okay, so we have to keep going up then. I need to arrange all of the stuff over here because all of the mechanical and electrical parts and stuff we can get is insane. It's locked. I want to make sure there's no zombies just spawning out of nowhere. I hate it when that happens. The moment you touch the top floor, all of a sudden they spawn right next to you, and that's so messed up. All those dots. Oh, hello. Master, we are not alone. Hmm. He is a heavy sleeper. I didn't wake up at all. Okay, there's either a zombie in the roof, which I doubt, or there's going to be a zombie on the other side of that door over there. Okay, this is the final stash. I'm just going to pick this up while I'm here. I almost accidentally did a power attack just now to open this up, but that's not necessary. I'm so used to having a crowbar in my hand in Ravenous and then just clicking a button and that picks everything up. Done. Look how easy that was. I think my loot right now is nice and overpowered. For once. <laughs> I still need to be careful. I should probably mark where the trader is. So if a wandering ward comes through now, I can just run away from over here. Oh, there's no drop to this. Damn. Not only am I fast and can move fast, but it seems even my arrows can do it. Okay, I just want to make sure we grab all the loot over here just in case there's something good. And then I need to wrench because we are so short on electrical parts and stuff. There shouldn't be any other zombies and stuff left as well, so I can just wrench in peace. Oh, this is mostly going to give me uh, forged iron, which you don't really need right now. So, I don't need that. It's not giving me any electrical parts. I think electrical is more like... Not that. This. Okay, I need to go for like signs and stuff like that to be able to get all the electrical parts I need. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go, go, go. It sounds like some of them actually broke through to me over here, but... Just close that just in case. I think some might be in here with me, but other than that... I might be able to just really do this. Okay, there's definitely some demons and stuff underneath me. I think they got in. Oh, please don't hit me right now. I'm taking chances right now fighting them like this. Especially if another cop shows up or another one of these vomiters.
can't believe I'm fighting a wandering horde inside a POI right now. It obviously just takes those spiders to come for me and I'm screwed. Mm, is that a spider coming up? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yep. I should probably run away right now with my bike. Bye bye. Let's do this, do this, bye bye. It must be my lucky. Okay, so three rewards. All of these are crappy, crappy, crappy. Um, go for it, face it clear. I'm looking for some danger. Wait, where was this lazy place? Lazy fitness over there. Why can't I? I couldn't move for a second over there. I want to go back and see if the ward has disappeared or not. I also want to go get those loot bags in the one POI. Oh crap. We are not alone. Hello, demon. Some shoes, yeah. Gotta be careful of more cops and stuff. Okay, there's still stuff over there. So I wanna park on the come on on the bridge of here and see if I can't snipe them. At least something there's nothing underneath me. Imagine I think all of them are over there, and then when I try and shoot, all of a sudden one just flanks me. Okay, so... Oh, I thought I shot one of the zombies just now. Shot a behemoth. Oh, uh, okay, I dropped most of my ammo just now. Nope. As she stands up, I have to snipe her because now, unfortunately, I wasn't close enough to finish her off. Ooh, she can be dangerous. Yeah, I think both of them are dead. I need to kill that one first because of the fireballs. This one's dangerous, but since she's on foot... Hey, she was a turtle just now. Did you see that? She pulled her head into her shoulders so I couldn't shoot her head. Yeah, why do they do that? Look at that. Okay, shot her head off. Nice. Yep, honestly, I have to be careful in case the smaller one woke up. You don't want to be dealing with two of them at the same time. She got a little bit close just now. Reload. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. There's a behemoth right here by us. Okay, she seems dead. And let's go see if we can actually still get those loot bags. But some of them might have actually despawned by now. Titanium Spear, now we have some melee, thank you. I think you can actually eat these guys. 
Well, usually if you skin them, you get some parts, but I didn't uh, get anything from that just now. There was definitely more bags over Which side is the lazy fitness? Down over there, right? I was sniping. I was about to say, I was sniping over here as well, so there should be more bags. There should be more bags even than this, because I... You know, unless I just killed them and they didn't drop anything, but... I was standing on that roof over there, sniping them from over here. I think I got most of the bags on the roof over there, though, so that should be fine. Okay, now I want to do this. Put that away. Put that next to it. And the rest of the stuff we can actually just drop on you. Boom! Okay, so next up is Tier 2 Infestation. See, if I can do pure eyes like this, that's awesome. We have the steel crossbow, which can actually take us uh, stuff out. We have to be careful, though, because uh, even though the crossbow is powerful, um, yeah, you can only fire one at a time. I think you can... Can I make that mod yet? Loader. Crossbow loader. I have to make this and put on my crossbow. I think it can then fire five shots. So being able to fire that many more shots, uh, especially with the steel bolts, that's really, really, really going to help us. Oh, is there a bunker to this place? Please tell me there is. Here to infestation. What I'm going to do is... It's a shame I don't have my cobble over here. I'll have to do this. The moment I shoot this vulture, everything else should show on the map. After, we are not alone. Is that another vulture? What is that? No, that's a demon. Okay, so for the demon... I should be able to sneak attack over this. I was hoping this is not going to make too much noise right now. That killed it. Time 7 sneak. Damn. Oh, no. We don't have anything to deal with that. I can try, but uh, yeah, we, we might have to run away right now. Um, that is an empowered demon. Which means none of our stuff can actually take it down. We might be able to get lucky with this. But if this shot right now does not kill it, there's no way we can kill it because that's empowered. I have no idea how much HP it has though. Dead. Time 7. Yes! Okay, I need to be careful. Careful, careful, careful. I'm just going to walk with a sniper rifle for now. This is my baby. I need to make sure that if there are any other more um, empowered ones, we can see them and deal with them before they wake up. If they wake up, we won't be able to get that sneak damage to them. Probably going to be one inside this pit over here, but I can't see it from this angle. Oh no, it's going to be on that side. Full says clear area, so there's definitely still some more to kill over here. I'm just hoping nothing's going to spawn in on the roof and fall on our heads. That's just a nasty trick. Okay, I want to put a frame or something over here so I can actually get up. A nice view. So that's a demon over there. I don't know if this is a demon. I don't see any um, orange or red to it. That's definitely a demon. There's two more dots left. Sounds like that sleeping sound was coming from super close by. Where are you? I don't see you. Oh, there's a red dot right over here. It's another demon. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's all. Oh, that's an empowered. Damn it! And now we don't have the sneak.
Damn, how am I going to kill this? So we don't have the power of sneak. I might be able to do... Okay, okay. The quail's strong enough to even deal with Pat and Power. It's nice. As long as I have all 18 shots to deal with it, it seems I'm fine. It's actually really awesome. Oh, where's this dot? I'm guessing... This over here is just one small part of it. It's either this over here. Uh, let's just actually see. What's this place called? Radio outpost. So it's just an outpost then. But where's the rest? I can't see anything else spawning in. So it has to be either that this place is also a radio station. The, the, the way you test that is you actually have to uh, move over here. Uh, so, uh, stay in is moving or uh, is getting yellow if I do that. Getting yellow again. There's something over here that we haven't killed yet, but that's not showing right now. Yeah, I might have to fail this quest. I know there's, I think there's a bunker somewhere that I'm missing Master, right now. we are not alone. Oh, that just spawned in. Hello, dude. Just as I was about to give up, he spawns in. How nice of him. Okay, yeah, that just confused the crap out of me. I was like, what? So the zombie didn't spawn in yet. That's why there was no yellow dot. It's usually a yellow dot, although I think because it's the same floor, there wouldn't be a yellow dot. That was confusing as all hell. Okay, let's go back to Joel, and then we have to go back to the base and just drop everything off, because I'm carrying way too much stuff right now. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Winchester. This is bags from the horde, but why are they bags? I didn't kill them down. I killed them upstairs, not downstairs. Let's see if there's any bags left. Nope. But for some reason, there were bags downstairs, and I can't remember killing them downstairs. I was upstairs hiding from my life. Unless the bags fell through the world like that uh, happens with horde knights. That's why it's always good to make like a pit underneath your zombie defense. So when the uh, bags just drop, you can actually grab the bags. You have no idea how many bags go missing during Horde Night just because you don't know they're falling through the world. For sore okay, so do that, do that, do that. More jobs. Bell Lake. I, really I think this is the one the where place. there's like a wedding going on, right? If it's out in the open, I can, really do, I, I can do that next time. But first things first, we are encumbered, the drone's encumbered. Well, we're not really encumbered, but I still don't want to die with the stuff on me. What's on me doesn't matter. Uh, no, no, no. What's on the vehicle and drone doesn't matter, even though they're encumbered. What's on me matters. Because since they're encumbered, they can't hold my stuff. So if I die, the stuff on me goes bye bye I really, really need a lathe right now. Probably see how much coin is on my drone as well. Um, I know one of the traders is actually selling for 23, but you can get it as a drop. The only thing is you have to get it as a drop. Just because you can doesn't mean you're going to. Um, but yeah, if I can do that, I can make level 61 sniper rifles, even quill. So if you look at sniper rifles, level 61. And quill, uh, just need to be able to make quill barrels and stuff in the lathe, and then yeah, it says lathe over here. Yep. And then, yeah, I can make myself a quill sniper. If we have a few quill snipers fully modded, I can run around with that as my main weapon without having to worry about dying and losing it. I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, inventory management. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below, and if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.